Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replay! Today with a TVT on Terraform Letter Edition. Oh yeah! And this one should be cool as well. So we will see what this guy is playing, spawning in the right bottom position of Terraform, playing for the team Jen. It's the Red Terran Recurse. So yeah. And his opponent spawning in the opposite direction, left top position, it's the Blue Terran Alex Sasher. So those games should be very good I'm casting now, because most of the guys I'm playing are at least top 25 master. They are quite good. And so they know at least what they're doing most of the time. So pretty good games I assume. 11 refinery even before the supply depot finishes. Wow! So that's super early gas. Super early gas. I have no clue why, but we will see. That's very interesting because he gets gas so soon. Oh my god. Uh, gas finished. Wow. That's, that's not too bad. And behind that the barracks, but the barracks are quite equal. Uh, mine's is a bit faster, but he got a bit more gas, so mm, I don't know about this build. It's a bit wanky, but maybe it's good, we will see. We will see. The APM are also quite nicely. I'm spamming like a madman. Oh yeah. Spamming a lot in the early stages of the game. Try to increase my APM. Typically I am around 160 to 170. But there are a couple of games where I go on average, I mean up to 180. Which is quite good. If I just could use those APM, uh, I guess I will soon have to use camera hotkeys and get used to them. But yeah, we will see. So my factory is a lot earlier, like 30 to, yeah, 5-6 seconds earlier, which is good. The orbital command is quite equally, but still, I guess I'm a bit ahead with my build. It's a bit crisper. Ah, there we go, Reaper. Okay, so we have here this little Reaper guy and a second Reaper, so this is Double Reaper Hellion, which is also quite popular in a couple of times. So, in a, yeah, it's it's very popular, I guess, in TVT. You can pressure quite a lot. I don't know why you play it. I think it's quite weak, as I'm not taking too much damage to those kind of builds most often. But mm, maybe it's the way to go. Maybe it can uh, establish to be the new meta because you see, Double Reaper. Hellion production stuff. It's annoying. You you get you gain a lot of damage, potentially, but in the end I feel like it's not really dealing too much damage. As you can see the marines are in good position. But now we will see. We have two Reaper here and one Hellion, and there are just Yeah, four Marines out yet. Uh, there will be a Hellion as well. So maybe oh he jumps up this cliff will kill this one. Oh the Hellion very low needs to pull back. Uh, close the wall. Oh, he loses the Hellion. That was a bit sloppy there. Yeah, now mm, it's a bit difficult. Yeah, those Marines are injured. And the Reaper can regenerate their health. But still, behind that we see the Viking. Very interesting. And for me, of course, the command center. So I'm losing another Marine there. But yeah, not too much damage dealt. Those supply depots are doing me a real favor. And we see an expansion for him as well, which is really good. And he goes up this ramp again. Will lose a Hellion. Oh no. And I can save mine. So, but I oh no. That's now a bit unfortunate. I will be forced to drop the auto turret there. Huh. In the end he's trading army for army, which isn't bad, but he isn't finding any real damage. So, ooh, this viking 
I need to be very careful. Oh, he lands it! I don't know about this, but he might be able to kill a marine here. That's good, but the tank will be out soon. Oh, he gets the supply depot. Maybe. It looks like he could get the supply depot. Yes, he gets it, but loser Reaper there lifts his Viking and escapes. So he did a lot of damage, was very annoying. But not being able to supply cap me as he traded army for army all time and the command center finishes. But behind that you can see his transition, reactor and some barracks. Ooh, I don't know why you would fight there. He loses the Viking, that was so bad because he could have needed that. He got another one, but still. Don't want to lose your Vikings as they are getting you the air control you need. Okay, command center finishes. Morphing to an orbital. There we have two Hellions. The good thing is he traded a lot, as well as the energy for the Raven, so... That's one good thing for him. I can't just move over him now, but army supply-wise, it's looking good for me. I got two tanks, six marines, a viking, two medics, a raven. And two tanks, they have a lot of firepower. There's a third tank as well on the way. Uh, so I might be able to just walk over now, walk across the map, and maybe deal some damage. We will see. Uh, he spots it with the Hellions, we move out. You will lose one Hellion there for sure, yeah. That's not good as well. Those Hellions could have done a lot of damage to, to those Marines. And he got no tank himself. He needs 30 seconds. Uh, could be just in time. And the good thing is for him, he got Stim on the way. No, Combat Shields. Combat Shields first, or is Stim ready? Stim is ready! He will get this Viking. Uh, loses a Viking himself there. And all those marines are very low, as there are no medivacs for those to heal. <sighs> Scan goes down, forces me to siege again, so slowly but surely I can go forward. We got our own tank now, but no map presence. He needs a viking, yeah. Or he will be forced to scan the whole time. Raven, very low in energy. This auto turret, not the best one. Ooh. Oh, forcing out another scan as he thought I would drop a tank there. But I didn't. And there's the Viking now, so I'm containing him, but he's fine. He's, he's okay. Behind that, double engineering bay for the upgrades, very important. And this Viking, ooh, what was that? So now with the Viking I can kill this refinery. He needs to, oh yeah, he repairs it, but that costs him some minerals. Ah, he's repairing the Viking, so I need to pull back. I got no PDD. Oh, carefully there. There's a second Viking now. For me. And with that I will be able to trade quite okay. And uh, this refinery goes down. So he's on two refineries now against four. Which are not saturated quite well, unfortunately. Let's zoom out a little bit here. And we have three tanks now for him. He's, he got a lot of marines. A ton of marines. So. If he wants to, he could. He got no medivac, that's a bit bad. He could set up a flank like here and here, and then crush me. Ooh, this tank goes down, as well as some marines. That was good one for, for Rikos there. Mm, is there on command center already? Yes, finally. And I'm on five barracks now myself. I would need a command center myself as well. Ooh, trading with those Vikings, very nicely. Good scan as well, and killing all those marines. I guess with that I have to pull back, and supply-wise I wasn't markering very well. Sure, income-wise I'm a bit ahead, with the worker at least, but yeah, he survived that. Oh, and there's a drop coming from the bottom side of this map, which is really good. And this command center is very late compared to Rico's command center here, so, huh. Very close game so far. Upgrade wise, yeah, I got no upgrades at all. So I'm working on Stim Combat Shields and 1 1. But still, ooh, I like that. One SCV, one Marine down there. Just, ooh, he gets one. One SCV there. Drops into the main. But there are Marines as well. 
so he won't find too much damage there and overall I guess he was able to kill maybe a marine or two and a CV but he lost a whole drop and he will lose this medivac as well so not the best drop but at least he knows now that there is no base here which should give him a bit of confidence confidence there so he should feel comfortable now and supply wise it's quite equal so very even this guy is still not saturated very good command center there still combat shields finished as well as 1-1 one -one. where's the armory it's just coming down right now and Rikos can start 2-2 uh, he sees those marines he clears them Ooh, those tanks there are 5 tanks to 4 oh that's not a good spot ah that's not looking good for me not a single bit I'm so clumped here Ooh. tank fire is helping me out a lot he lands the viking drops on top of the tanks but reinforcements are coming clearing up everything and in the end I win this trade wow not bad not bad at all so how many tanks are left? 2 against 2, 28 marines against 12 and both have 1-1 one, one, and I'm on 2-2 two, two on the way uh, denying this base which is really annoying oh those tanks really good focus fire there and no no way to pressure this any further I will have to be forced to back up and he's denying my base as well so very equal again I like this a lot, this game is very fun. But I got 2-2 two, two on the way while he is on one... Ah, there we go, okay. So there will be a small window where I have an upgrade advantage. Ooh, lost the medevac there. I might lose this raven, ooh, no. He's not chasing it, he could have done it, but decided not to risk it, which is okay. Also have marines anytime everywhere to see bases and movement this is so important in TVT because drops and run bys can happen that easily in this matchup so you need to know where he is when he goes where so spread out your marines a little bit to get this map presence the map vision and in convice I'm still a bit ahead five worker which is okay Ooh, that sends a turret very vulnerable but also covers a lot of space so that's good and he sees this move out ooh tanks are being sieged big stim force there we go focus fires one tank and gets out that was a good trade those auto tools not dealing too much here of damage ooh there's just one little scouting marine here what I like as well is that finally plus one vehicle weapon upgrade is coming down the line still not uh, the refinery saturated quite nicely ooh this marine could kill a marine SUV here which he will super annoying scan goes down somewhere and ooh from behind he will kill all this army all those marines are not shooting and that was a very good fight for Rikos there pouncing at the perfect time even though he was in an upgrade disadvantage, I was positional wise in a very bad bad spot. Mm, scans there, sees nothing, wonders where's my army. And with that kind of army, he could kill me potentially, we will see. It's very close, marines are overstimmed a little bit there, tanks are not sieged here for him, as he's trading okay. but. Taking the fight while he's in another upgrade disadvantage is not really helping him. It's so close. Those tanks shooting, but there's not much to buffer. He got a lot of medals in the air, but in the end, all his tanks go down. And yeah, most of his army supply is indeed in medivacs. 10 medivacs, which is nice, but the rest. Hmm. So he should stop making medivacs. 10 medivacs is fine. You don't need any more. 12 is. Ah, so many medivacs, which is good, but uh, some more marines would be nice as well. So we have 3-3 three, three on the way for Rikos as well for me, but I got the plus 2 vehicle weapon upgrade while he is on 0-0 zero, zero for his tanks. Mm. Still 3 base against 3 base, 
But there we go, command center, and we see some turrets being made, finally. So dropping the main will be not that easy. I should have repaired the tank, I guess. And this marine spots the movement, very nice. So now he knows I'm coming, we can prepare for it, which is really good. I'm pulling back, just for now. And it looks like this game is slowing down again a little bit. So he's taking a base. And there we have the Marine. Very, very, very interesting game. Finally got plus one as well. What's with the structures tab? How many barracks are there? Two factories against two factories, seven barracks against six barracks. And so I can produce a little bit more. But won't be that big of an impact, I guess. Uh, there's the Marine scouting around. Ooh, his planetary fortress could be cancelled there. I got just an orbital command and I'm taking a fifth base as well. Mm, plus three armor will finish for me now. Oh, he's taking down those rocks right now. Could be a mistake. Yeah, he will. Oh, the, it finished. Now he can't lift it up and, and rescue it, so he will lose this planetary for sure. And there's his, his army. Do we see it? Yeah, I see his army. But he lost the planetary fortress. He got no bank whatsoever and he's down in supply. Most of it is indeed worker supply, but still, he's down in supply. Uh, upgrade wise, it's not looking good either currently. So, uh, I'm pulling back. Killing a base is good. He's on two mining bases while I'm on three. That's very nice for me. And, ooh, it looks like. We could ah uh, scans there these no you can't go in there. Uh, here's a lot of stuff as well. So what will we see? Will we see a base race? Maybe. I would love to see more barracks for me and maybe another factory, but ooh, he sims in. I killed this turret. And there we go, dropping into the main base here while he's attacking down towards my third base. But there are tanks at position. And some are into buffer, so he's trading a lot, he's losing a lot there. He will be able to break through as it's just... Oh, he got the numbers, man, he got the numbers. But there are marines in his mineral line, uh, in his main base. As well as attacking the natural, he's killing my third base. Very nicely, trading those tanks with those marines, which is okay. Losing our auto command there, so who will be ahead? It looks like army-wise, it's looking good for me. But... What do we have here? Tank wise it's equal, but the marines man, the marines! Uh, tanks are sieging, but he has no high ground vision! He doesn't see it! Loses two tanks immediately there! And might lose another tank as well. There's a raven from the beginning of the game! Double Seeker missile killing two more tanks! And behind that he's losing a lot! GG! Whoa! That escalated very quickly. Wow! So with that, I say GG well played, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, as always I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.